what's going on people it's your boy grind i am here to talk about my sample banks set my trusty dusty timer <laughs> and that dusty's iphone so um yeah i have these folders right here right and these all link to folders i have uh on my hard drive so i have um I have this folder right here called um, unprocessed samples and then I have these other ones here I'm gonna zoom in to make it easier oops so let's see zoom I don't know if I could use my no I can only do it that way on there I don't know huh we'll work it out so um, pretty much what I have and I, I made this big so I could just show you. Um, pretty much what I have is I have this sample folder, right? I have my studio folder, I have my banks, and I have my samples. I have all my MIDI and loop files and all that stuff I collect in there. I really don't use it a lot because I like to make most of the stuff myself. But in this samples folder, I have um, pretty much all my kits from all the different companies, right? So you see all the different companies. Then those are all the different pictures that are... Um, right here in machine here let me see if I can get it to show you zoomed in so I have all these okay so all these kits pretty much are linked to those folders that are in there and um, this is different for me so work with me people I'm trying something new here so it's my brother texting me or messaging me so um, I have uh, all these um, different folders and all I do is just drop new files in these folders and then I have you know the images linked on the other section so all these images that are right here and once you click outside the program it always switches off of the sample kits it just does it like the little sub libraries so I have all these folders linked the fruity loops all of these into a different folders right so these are all my favorite kits right now, and I'm just building them as I go. I could always add more. I have to put these images in a, like a little file that's on your C drive on their native instruments, and sometimes you can get them to work, sometimes they don't. Um, these folders, they have like six or five images in it, and they link into all the different sections. Now, I could show you how to do that, but I don't have my Camtasia set up. So until I get a proper screen recorder set up, this is just how I'm gonna show. I just wanna show you my process. So, next part of the process is, um, you know, picking a folder from the unprocessed. Right now, I've been working on these County Brown Banks from Addicted Dopeness. Um, this is a producer. He's also the CEO of Addicted Dopeness. He gave me, um, actually, it's five kits, and these are the last four. So I'm um, going through them now. Um, pretty much each of these kits have about, I think they have about 6,000 sounds, 600 sounds in them a piece. So it's, it's 2,500 sounds, 2,540. So that's how many sounds I'm going to go to, go through or try to go over tonight. Just listening to them. If I have to chop them, you know, shorten them down. Um, one technique that I do use, and maybe I could show everybody this, when I have a lot of samples in a folder, um, I always cut on the size, you know, that's this little size here, and then um, pretty much with this size, what I do is, I'm zoomed in right now, so I have to put it here, but what I do is just say I am right now on hi-hats. And I organize them all by the sound, the size of the sound, right? I really don't care about the name. So when you end up with some of these big, huge file kits, like I have like, like huge file kits, sometimes you'll end up with some sounds that are exact same, they're just named differently. And um, I don't know why that happens. It could be because of how people use the machine. Every time in the machine, when you save a sample, Per se or you chop out something you apply it it creates a new file so that new file may add up you may have different mic recordings um, some people have um, like two or three mics on one snare so 
it just matters your who records your kit, where you got it from, the source, and then you'll know how you have to sort it. Uh, most of the time, I just go through here and just replace it with the the name of like the album or the um, kit per se. This is unexplored territory, so I don't have like exact terminology for this stuff. Maybe you guys can help me. That's why I'm here making these vlogs about chopping up samples and organizing them because I can't find anything on YouTube right now. And once I do, you know, maybe I can learn more and refer to those people. So in the a current Addicted Dopeness kit that's it's not in it, the compressed, it's in here. Um, I have these. These are what the files may be named. But this is a finished kit right here. So um, pretty much I named it ADP, Addicted Dopeness Productions, uh, CB Dopeness Pack. So in the Dopeness Pack, it got some pretty nice sounds in there. It's 207 sounds, um, 29 megabytes. So these are all sounds that he sampled. You know, it's uh, probably a kit that I could probably sell or upload. But um, this is like all the stuff that um, we pretty much have together for him. And uh, this is probably some files he doesn't even use anymore. He probably forgot all about these. But there's some pretty good sounds in here. You know what I mean? So I chopped them all up. Um, some of them I had to cut out. Some of them I didn't. Some of them I had to find the duplicates like I was saying. But now they're all in here and they all pretty much, you know. And one thing that I do is, and I don't know if I should do this, but percussion is like a general term. And everything is almost a percussion percussion instrument when it comes to a drum so it's kind of hard to define or organize these sounds because you have to actually know what certain sounds are i mean most people use snare drums but they've never hit a snare drum in their life or you know certain things most people say hey i'm gonna put a shaker in there but never touch the shaker so it's like it's hard for probably most sound designers sound engineers to organize this stuff because some of this stuff, they don't know what it is. And then there's so many different types of ways of recording this stuff. That's why it's so many samples. Like when I talk about having 19,000 samples in a, or 20,000 that now, it's different variations and different recordings, different mics, different types of things that contribute to the way these samples sound. And a lot of people don't understand that. It's kind of like, you got to clap, you got to clap. But no, it's like if you're tripping off mics, how it's set up, the thickness, thinness, what type of song, all this stuff plays a part. But today's age, stuff is so fast, people don't try to perfect a record. It's just like, you know, meat and potatoes real quick. So it, it's just a different time versus... But see, I like to layer my snares and snaps and different things. So that's why I organize them. And I try to go through with the size and find any duplicates, if it's any. And, you know, not put a lot of the same sounds that sound alike. But this is just my process. And um, I use this bulk file renamer program. I'm going to zoom out for a second. Because it's hard to see it or use it. So I don't know if you can see this. I, I, can't, I can't, you know, squish it down any more than that. So and that's the, the window size once I zoom in. So we're just going to work with it like this. So this program allows me to rename files in a bulk. Now I am going to install Cam Camtasia, I keep on saying it, but I'm just going to take some time out, install it, get it going, and use it. But you can go in here and rename all the files. So after I'm done dropping the sounds in the folders, so like what I think the sound goes, or what it goes with, well then I go into this next step, you know, of renaming or scrubbing the files like I keep on explaining. So I'm just gonna keep going over this stuff until, you know, I guess I get a process down and then eventually I'll just come up with a regular generic video showing how to do it step by step. But yeah, so I'm in this kit here and I'm gonna go through all these sounds tonight. I just went through all the claps, did all the claps. It's actually less than uh, 68 claps. So I'm gonna show you my process real quick got four minutes so um, I have to refresh this because you know file renaming does that so all right so I'm in here with the claps so most of the time what I do is I'll go to a pre-existing you know folder structure like the this is the addicted dopeness county brown is CB dopeness pack right 
So I'll just go in here and take the name from there to there. So let me zoom in, see if you can see. So I'll just go in there and copy my pre-made kind of format so I don't lose it, okay? So I'll go over here into the program. I know you can't see everything, but bear with a brother. All right, so I'll go in here and I'll replace the suffix. So you just paste this in here and that's it, right? Perfect. You know what I mean? And then you go in here, put this on increments of one. Yes, you have to learn how this works. Um, I like to have my extension lowercase. And then I type in clap. Well, I type in clap because it's a singular clap. Okay. And it goes in the claps folder. So, right here, I want this at the suffix. So, now, <coughs> excuse me. How much time do I have? Two minutes. All right. So, now I'm at the point where on this side, it shows me what my file name will be and what it could be. Well, yeah, what it could be. Because if I change some file names, it could be this. So you have to always refresh it. That's why I said could be. So this is what I'm changing them to. From to. So after I'm sure that's what I want, you know, go down here, hit rename. Instantly rename to them. I can go over here. Go into the claps right here. And they're all renamed. All right? So one thing I always do is... Click that um, all well, size all columns fit to fit. All right, so I, it, it just helps me organize my columns real quick. But yes, yeah, my favorite little button. So yeah, now I have all that in here. Now I am gonna change the name of this to match um, the the actual kit. So the kit that this is called is Alchemist Drum Kit. So I'm going here put the abbreviation because this is the addicted dopeness not the cb dopeness pack it's um and see this is why i use this program to rename because i'll go in here sometimes forget something some files or folders i mess up on so you know it's the adp adk you know it's a clap from there so go over here it's already changed and i just continue this process i go through every folder I listen to everything in the machine and um yeah and before you know it instead of me just having this one CB dopeness right here let me zoom in again so this CB dopeness pack in this folder instead of me just having that you know um, I'll have another one I'll have the alchemist in there and um, I don't know where we got that kit from, but it has a lot of snares and a lot of stuff. So um, I'm adding it to the collection. So I'm working on the Addicted Dopeness kits today. So once I come back, I'll show you my final process. I don't know how late I'm going to be up because um, it's going to be some work going scrubbing through 2,000 files. But 2,500 and something. But it will be worth it in the long run, um, just to be organized. So, all right, people, this concludes part one of my second vlog for this channel. Um, if you have any questions, anything, go ahead and put them in the comments, if that works. Um, subscribe, if that works for you. And um, keep grinding, people. So I'll get back with you once I'm done with these folders and we can go from there. So, all right.